it. I'm walking across the top of Hoover Dam. Not sure how long this is going to take me. Oh, cool. No public access. What's ironic, there's no security either. <laughs> oh well, don't get me started. So, anyway, so down there is, I'm not sure what it's called, because the power plant is actually inside the dam. Some kind of connections over there. It's going oh, too late. <laughs> uh, just. Notice how it's nice and flat on top there. I heard the tours actually go down there, the real tours, but the real tour's not running today. Don't get me started. Oh well, save me some money, I guess. There's the uh, highway bridge over there. Danger, keep off wall. Yeah. Oh, this is a restroom. I'll be knowing. Strange place for a restroom. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, we're stopping for a second. Got some pretty flowers blooming there on the wall. Wonder if they have some guy have to climb down there and pick weeds. Oh, this is creepy. Look at that. There's a nail sticking out of the wall. Wow, there's a nice wind here blowing across the top. They, they warned us to hold on to your hat, sir. Your hat might blow away. Unfortunately, my hat, the strap came off, so I'm not wearing a hat right now. So there's the visitor center. Notice how it's built right on the side of the wall there. It doesn't get anywhere near the bottom of the canyon. Okay, here's a ticket booth or something equivalent, I suppose. No guns, no knives. Tiny little buildings here. <laughs> it's like, what are these for? Just a random blue room closet. I forgot the original name of this dam. Since it's Boulder City nearby, I think they just called this Boulder Dam. But the thing is, this isn't Boulder River, this is like the Colorado River. You'd think they would call it Colorado River Dam or something like that. Oh well. Should name it after the guy who built it. I can't remember his name. That was on the tour. Kind of creep out of that. There's a bridge over there because it's on the side of the rock. 
Notice this wall up here at the top is like two feet thick concrete. So they say like every few years they dig a core sample into this concrete and verify that it's still technically curing. When they were building it, they used cooling water to make it cure faster. But I don't think the cooling water is running anymore because they used to have a big refrigerator. The refrigerator is not here anymore. Details, details. because the weight of the water is pushing the dam against the rock. So that's what helps hold the watertight seal. See, technically it's not waterproof. It's like um, all these separate blocks, concrete blocks with grout in between. It technically leaks a little bit, but it's an acceptable rate. Oops, here's the ladies restroom. All right. All right. See, they got all sorts of cars down there. Hmm. They're very strict about drones here. They don't allow drones at all. Which makes sense considering there's 230,000 volts in this power line. That kind of voltage could arc through like three feet of uh, air. See those big brown spring-like things? Those aren't springs, those aren't shock absorbers. Those are electrical insulators. So that's basically how much distance you need to keep the Electricity from arcing through the air. Danger, keep off wall. Hmm. Wonder how often they send people down here to catch the uh, hats and sunglasses that have been dropped. No public access. You will be tempted by the dark side. <laughs> anyway, it'd be so cool if we were allowed to actually explore this place. But, oh well, I guess this is a start. Alrighty then. So this is the downhill or west side of Hoover Dam. <laughs> 